Hey y'all, uh, my name's Amber and uh, I'm a teacher at Memorial High School. I'm actually uh, in my classroom right now at the end of the day. And I heard that um, a number of you have been kind of thinking and processing a lot about what should come next after high school, right? What, uh, what you should do about decision making and how you should go about that. I certainly have lots of thoughts about that and I have conversations about that with my students pretty much every day. Um, but especially for you all at home group tonight, I have some more specific and, and God-centered thoughts about uh, that stuff. So um, immediately when I got asked about this topic and what I speak on this topic, my mind jumped right away to uh, the book of Romans chapter eight. Um, and Paul writes uh, a message here in, in verse 28 that I think is really encouraging. And it also has been convicting for me when it comes to decision making. Um, the verse reads, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. And I think sometimes in my life, I've gotten wrapped up in this idea that there's a right choice somehow to make, that um, God will only bless me or will only bless my actions if, if I do the one right thing that he wants me to do in a situation. And that's just really not true, that as this verse shows and as I've experienced um, in my own life and in conversations with students, it's not about finding some one magical right path or right choice because like this verse says, God is more than capable of making good out of any choice that we make, right? It's more that our task is to focus on who we're becoming rather than the choices that we make. And let, let me explain it this way, right? If, if my focus is on becoming a person that's more like Jesus, Right. If I if I focus on becoming more kind, more intentional, um, that I I do what I say I will do. I'm a person of my word um, that I love well, that I lead with grace. Right. If I focus on the things, the attributes of Jesus that that God's calling me to, it turns out that that changes my mind. It changes what I think is important. And that ends up leading to perhaps even a change in the way I make decisions and what I think is important in my decision making. And so my challenge to you tonight is to stop focusing so much on the choice, right? And am I, am I following the right process to get to a certain outcome that God wants me to get to? And instead to focus on who we're becoming and who we're becoming like. Are we, coming, be, are we becoming more like the world or are we becoming more like Christ? Because sin is real, selfishness is real, and, and people in our life are going to want to direct us to different choices for different reasons. And that's okay. That, that isn't even necessarily bad. But we have to realize that if we pray that God changes us. If we pray that God makes us into better and better reflectors of him, then in doing so, he's gonna also give us his mind when it comes to decision-making. And so, as I go back to verse you know, 28 out of, out of Romans, and that idea of God's working, God works, God works, God works, God's the one <laughs> who's active. He asks us simply to be faithful, to, to love him, to become more like him. And that happens through prayer and through being intentional um, in our faith life. And so with that being said, uh, I wanted to give you something to think on as you head out from, from home groups tonight. And, and my encouragement would be that you'd spend some time in Proverbs two. It's not a super long passage, um, but it has to do with wisdom and decision making. And it ties into this idea of 
who we're becoming rather than simply what we're doing or the choices we're making. Know that you're loved, that as you walk through decision-making, um, that, that God is with you, that your, your leaders at Blackhawk are with you, um, that you're not on the precipice of making some major life-altering decision in a way that can ruin everything in a heartbeat, but rather you're in this moment of getting the opportunity to, opportunity to embrace more and more of who God is in your life and how God can use you in the lives of others. Well, hey everyone at High School Ministry watching this, my name is Michael and I am a part of Blackhawk Church's college age ministry. And man, I love the series that you guys are doing and I just wanted to take a quick minute to talk about the importance of finding community and what that looks like after high school. So really, we were created for community. The Bible says in Genesis 1:27 that God created us in his image and he is a triune God. There's the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. He is community. And therefore we, as we image him, we do it best when we image him in community. So it's so important to find community. Now that can look um, different in different contexts that you're moving into, but really the intention is kind of the same, whether you're going to, to college, taking a gap year, going to work, going to a new city, staying home, no matter what, where you're going or what you're doing. And the word that I wanna talk about around that is intentionality. That community, especially after high school, requires intentionality, to be intentional, to research, okay, am I going to school? What campus ministries are out there? What churches are out there? Or if I'm not going to school, what churches, what type of Christ-centered community is out there? To Google search, Instagram search, to talk to Blackhawks staff or leaders to see if you know someone in the city that you're going to or in a different context in the city that you're staying in just to see what does community look like and to do some research, but finally to pray, to pray because God, he's going before you and he knows where you're going to go and the community you're entering into. So to pray for that. And hey, if you stay here, we would love to have you at CAM. It's an awesome place. We have fun. If not, I mean, there's other really great ministries and, and churches, but we just wanted to encourage you all around that. So stick with it find community, be intentional, pray, it's important.